one. As soon as I do the normal tweeting type of things and Discord type of things. Um, let's see here. The first of two streams today. So I'm hoping that everything goes well. We didn't do a ton of testing with these colors. So we'll do maybe a couple very quick little tests. Um, just to see like, as far as like the width on the chevrons and do I want to go back and forth or do I want to go side to side? Well, it does sound like the same thing, but you'll, we'll see. Um, and I should have tested this too to make sure. <gasps> oh, okay. Okay. That's working. Okay. Oops, no. Yes, like that. Okie dokie. Um, let's get a Discord sent. And then we'll move on to the testing. Why are you over here, Discord? Um, also, I probably should close this. Hmm. Okay, close this. Um, Discord. Wow, what is... I've got a line going through my second monitor. That's no good. I hope it doesn't get any worse than it already looks. Um, oops. Turquoise. <laughs> I spelled it before. Send it to everyone. Let everyone know that the water marbling is about to go down. Hi, Amethyst. Um. Okay, let's put let's put notifications over here. Let's put the webcam over here. Um. Okay. So I think I want to do at least like two quick tests. This is intended to be like a not long stream because I want to have time to eat and you know like decompress a little bit in between streams hey Beflor hey Polished Soul thank you guys for joining us I'm just getting a getting a test strip folded here hey Sunburnt and I do, I, I mentioned before, I'm pretty sure, I do want to re revisit the idea of the the sponged base and then the color and clear water marble, but not with these colors. I'm going to test the base color, like on this, it's green, turquoise, navy. The navy's too dark. I'm thinking I'm going with the turquoise, but since I am going to do a couple tests, we'll just, we'll just test the base color also. Yeah, I really, I love these colors together. They're very bright, even though, I mean, somebody on YouTube requested some, they were like, oh, I want some more spring designs. I'm like, man, we got like three feet of snow on the ground here. It's hard to really like think about spring as a serious thing. But eventually, I mean, didn't the groundhog like, uh, not see his shadow or whatever or is it that he sees his shadow what the one that's not supposed to be too much more winter the one that's supposed to mean early spring um i don't remember i, I not that i <laughs> necessarily put very much stock in that momo hello <clears throat> i'm probably gonna have to close this 
curtain here too. The sun is trying to peek out of these wintry clouds and go directly in my eye. Jackie! There it's showing properly. There is our Twitch baby. There is our Twitch baby with the nine month Twitch Prime resub. <laughs> All these little Twitch babies running around here now. <laughs> um, thank you so much, Jackie, for choosing to use your Twitch Prime sub here for nine months. I've got a... So we'll just fill up woo, the paper cup. Try not to make a mess. You know, I'm not very... I'm not very good at not making a mess. Um, I, I'm... It, it's not as big of a deal as I maybe seem to make it. I have a very particular level that I prefer the water at when I'm marbling. It's not really that <clears throat> that big of a deal. Sweet baby marble. <laughs> yes, yes. It's, it's unbelievable to me. I was thinking, you know, that like a couple more months and it's going to be my like one year stream anniversary, which is kind of crazy. Like, I, I remember being so uncertain when I started of, like, how everything was going to go and would I be able to, like, keep up with this and would anybody care? Would anybody watch? And, you know, like, so so many what if type of feelings. Hey, Caritha. Mm, Jackie going into her lurk. Enjoy. Anybody else lurking without announcing it, also enjoy your lurk. Lurkers make the world go round. I feel like I haven't said that lately, but it's it's as true as ever. <clears throat> I'm really this is I I think this is gonna be an awesome manicure. Anybody that's just getting here, this is um our initial test that we're working with. We're gonna do two more quick ones. Um kind of just basically confirming my thought that we want to use the turquoise as the base color um and also just messing around a little bit with how I want to do the um how I want to do the chevrons and did I actually test these I'm just looking at the order of the rings on these two tests like this one turned out very messy this one was one of the ones with clear <clears throat> It looks like on both of these tests, I started with green. So one of these tests I'm doing right now, I'll probably start with the navy just to see how that treats us. And I think about nine drops. We'll see, we'll see how this goes. We'll just see how this goes here. And get these a little scooted closer here. Try not to knock anything over today. I'm not, I mean, I don't want to rush. I don't want to dawdle. I also don't want to rush. Um, want to have some time in between streams before this evening's race to like eat dinner and stuff. So I just, as long as these polishes like relatively cooperate, I think we'll be fine. We're getting kind of an uneven spread here, but maybe I should have cleaned the surface first. Even though it's a fresh cup of water, sometimes I forget and or get lazy but that shows you why that initial cleaning can be important. Cause I mean like this is workable. And again, especially if we were to like start doing just like some swirly type of things as we were discussing last night. <clears throat> but the best bullseye is a centered bullseye. Hello, Meg. Hi, doubtful. Yes, the hot polish on polish action. We're uh, I got I want to do two tests. We're testing base color and we're testing the order we're dripping the drops and we're testing uh which chevron technique I want to go with. And then we're going to go pretty much straight into the manicure cuz two tests really shouldn't take that long. Unless the polish decides to continue giving me an attitude like that like that first one did, but I think that now that we cleaned off the surface, we should we should be okay. I'm still kind of surprised at how 
how well this navy marbles because you can see those little glittery flaky flecks in there and that usually I would say is a point against a polish as far as marbling it's only like six drops I'm gonna I'm gonna go for nine but I may like I feel like I may regret it but we're gonna stretch it out anyway for the for the chevron so it should be okay I don't think the tests were only with six that seems silly so I'll stretch it out like this and like that and that'll give it a little bit more room to expand so like usually when you do chevrons you probably think about you know just going from side to side yeah the edge is drying a little bit what temp are we 73 that other night when I was testing and I managed to get my room up to 74 degrees was really going well just got to be very careful and aware of the drier outer rings when you're working with them. So this is our first way of doing chevrons. And the other way is to go all one direction and then go back in between them all the other direction all at once. Yeah, that's so nice and vibrant. That's freaking great. <clears throat> yeah growing out your nails can be hard in the winter time i know i'm i'm whoa <laughs> i almost dropped it right back in there i'm pretty happy with the length of mine now after basically chopping them all off at the beginning of the year <clears throat> but i've been having some problems with peeling and i know if i were to try and let them get too much longer that i would run into trouble because my my cuticles just feel a mess. My hands in general feel dry and gross. And winter is just... Winter is a difficult time for nail care in general. Plus, like, the, the OMG water marble that we did last time, I was looking, I was like, you know, I like this length. I prefer them longer, but I do like this length. Regardless of the time of year, yeah, I'm at this. It's like each season has its own challenges. Like in winter, it's cold and dry. You gonna come down here, Benny? In summertime, maybe you go swimming a lot, more exposure to water. Hi there, Benny. Hi, you boy. You gonna settle down? I, I'd love to bribe you into position, but we're we're marbling here. See, and th they're actually not spreading as well this direction. We'll see if we can actually get a usable bullseye out of this. I feel like it's it's already kind of lopsided and very tight in the middle, but I, I guess it's still spreading a little bit. And then like yard work and stuff too. Like the last time I was out shoveling, which I need to go out and shovel again, but I've just been like, I haven't needed to go anywhere. So I just been like, well, I don't need to unshovel my car. I did something and I don't know, I lost my grip on the shovel and I really thought I broke a nail and I was like, ah, oh, like it hurt, you know? And then I took my glove off to check and I hadn't broken a nail, but I had popped off a peely. So this is the, the second way to do your chevrons. Go all one way, drawn in basic petals. And I feel like with the with the slight dryness, this is maybe a better one for this and then go back in between each one like so why did I turn I meant to dip it the same direction as the other one and I did it completely not the same direction so because now it's it's just a little bit harder to like actually compare them like there's subtle differences like basically we made three changes the base color the way we drew the design and the order of the colors so i mean they're both very pretty they're both very wet and shiny and not you know let's actually close this because we're going to need to once we start recording anyway And then 
Yeah, that does actually help quite a bit. <laughs> Straight up witchcraft. You know, that is that is actually what they say. <laughs> okay, gotta move my footrest. Which Beanie may decide he wants to sit on instead of his chair, but that's a risk we're gonna have to take. Because I need to get closer to the desk. So when I'm looking at like which base color I want to choose, what I'm basically observing is what does that base color do for the other colors? Like if you're working with very contrasting colors, sometimes a poor base color choice can end up with your colors getting really muddy. In this case, I'm really looking at how like the colors change. Like in this one, it's still, is this stupid? Yes. There, that's a little bit better. In this one, on the blue side, the colors still stay pretty true to themselves. Whereas on this side, <clears throat> with the green base, you can see the turquoise and the navy. Um, like it still looks cool. It's a great water marble, but the turquoise and the navy change a lot more. They just both look more teal. So definitely gonna go with the turquoise base color. Ooh, doubtful. <laughs> With the, with the rip bits. Thank you so much for the 500 bits. For the witchcraft. Yeah, we're going to have all kind of good witchcraft going on. I just realized I hadn't got this out, but it is within arm's reach now. It's not lost. My new latex, which I'm... Like, so far, it's going really well. I like it a lot. I'm even considering using it all over my fingers because for dipping in a chevron design with like multiple nails might be might be good to have them stuck together oh, oh whoa okay i just went to move those three bottles of polish and they weren't closed yet <laughs> that could have been very very bad <clears throat> oh a dip powder acrylic kit like to add a like a to add a, a hardening strengthening layer Yeah, the potholes are ridiculous. There's a couple road. There's a couple roads. I literally, like, if I'm deciding how to go somewhere, it's like, oh wait, I can't go on that road because the potholes are so bad. The parkway is really bad because it's like they argue back and forth, who's responsible for the for the road there? Like, is it the city? Is it the parks board? And it just ends up completely, like, almost undrivable. <laughs> okay I do I do kind of like though I kind of like the green in the middle should we do one more quick test let's do one more quick test I just closed these no I'll just you know what no well okay so I'm torn like I like the green in the middle do I want to go with the colors in that order or do I just want to add one more drop of green in the center of this one, which would make it 10 drops instead of nine drops? I kind of want to test that again, but I kind of want to get started on my nails also. Like I could get very caught up in just like testing these minor minor things <laughs> that's brilliant I love it <laughs> yeah everybody everybody go get yourself a can of paint I don't know it's probably considered like vandalism some places go draw dicks around all the potholes in your city in fact, all any anything that's broken and needs to be fixed, just go draw a dick on it. It'll get attention. <laughs> um where is okay. Base coat. Shit you guys, I'm like not as organized as I thought I was. Where where's my sesh feet? Are you in here, sesh feet? 
That's not, uh-oh. I literally just had it, you guys. Is this, that's not sesh feet? <sighs> I just had it because I just refilled it from the, from the big bot, from the big, well, it's not a jug. Oh my God. Here it is. Yay. It was hiding behind the acetone. See how, see how nice and full it is? Mmm, full sesh feet. Okay. Um, let's, this one's still wet. We'll stick this over here. This also can go over here. And this can move up here where it hopefully will not get knocked over. <clears throat> Scientists work wanksy. Mm. Mm. So my new latex, this is just like a, an actual generic empty polish bottle I had laying around. Oh, I should keep this closer. Is uh, It's this. And I have... Uh, Oh, that video is not up yet. That no, no, it is because the first one. I'm, we're so far ahead of the game, you guys. I'm like trying to remember what's on YouTube and what is not. The uh, the bronze gradient that's up on YouTube has has this linked in the information box, and this is also in my uh, nail polish essentials Amazon list. Um, that's where I got it. A lot of people recommended it. It comes in a bunch of different colors. I just thought the metallic pearl was a nice, uh, classy, neutral choice for all the on-camera stuff that it will be, you know, uh, a part of for me. Um, and some of the colored ones... <laughs> Doubtful! With 25 gift subs, gifting a sub to Meg. Thank you so much, Doubtful, and enjoy your emotes, Meg. Also, hello, yo, and hello, Doc. Mm. Yeah, gotta get, I'm, I'm so hyped for the race. I gotta, I'm hoping this all goes well, um, nail polish wise, because, um, I want to have some time, like, for dinner in between. Doubtful on her unsubbed hunt once again. Um, I remember I was talking about this latex. I don't remember. Oh, I, I chose the white because like I'm on camera and stuff and, and the colored ones may have a chance to stain your nail if you get some on your nail instead of your skin. It's a, I like it. It's a really nice consistency. It seems like the, the best thinnest Simply Peel I ever had was a little bit thicker than this is. And so it's pretty easy to remove. It works really well and it's cheap which is the, uh, the big thing. Oh, you added glitter and do it in clear. That's a, that's a good one. How do you tell when the clear is dry? Does it just look weird? Cause the, the one thing I was concerned was how would I tell when it's dry? And it actually goes from looking like very opaque white to the pearliness really coming out. I think it's, it looks really cool on camera. I'm, I'm super glad with the color choice that I made, even though that's obviously a completely minor thing to the, uh, what I want to say, the usefulness of the actual product. A Barney nipple gradient. <laughs> mm. a na yeah, so it's, it's body paint. So yeah, she is naked. That's painted on. I mean, may maybe there's some, uh, we well, can't see, but I'm, <laughs> you know, what do they call those things that cover your nips? like flower, flower pasties. And I mean, I don't know how much of that, uh, the bottom is painted on, but yeah, this is, it's liquid latex fashions body paint. Like I said, the link is in my most recent YouTube video and it is in my nail polish essentials, Amazon list. If you want to check it out and you can, you can see the brand. And usually like when you are looking at whatever color, then all the other colors come up as, oh, maybe you're interested in this, this, and this, and this, and this too. <clears throat> I mean, they have a ton of colors and a ton of, I guess, finishes. Like there's the pearl, the shimmer, there's neon. I don't know if they actually sell any glitter ones, but you can mix in your own glitter if you want it to be sparkly. I'm glad you're looking forward to tonight, Amethyst. I think it's going to be fun. 
Um, you know, I haven't made any of the other ones. I've enjoyed watching, but it's been like several weeks or months since I was able to like participate in a race. <clears throat> Fingers are bodies. Fingers are attached to our bodies. Yeah, I like, I do slightly miss the glitter, but the pearliness kind of makes up for it. Like, the pearliness is really pretty. I'm going to try and be heavy-handed with it this time, too, because I've been very messy with my dips lately, and I'm sick of having extra polish on my knuckles. So we'll try and be quite heavy-handed with our uh, with our latex today. <laughs> going to get the snacks ready, son. Hey, cow. <laughs> Butt spot. <laughs> oh, why is it always so funny when he butterflies people's names? All right, um, let's get a fresh paper towel. Then you guys know what time it is. It's serious YouTube time. <clears throat> and base coat time. And where's my other pair of tweezers time? Because I don't want to be peeling off my liquid latex with these little sharp guys right here okay you don't want to go back in there fine fine <clears throat> sometimes it seems like he does pick on or pick out certain people um we're missing something here hmm what could it be go to turn on record on the camera and the camera is not attached to the tripod yet whoa this thing is not a tripod. Whatever this thing is. Arm. Thingy ma thing. Doohickey. Okay. Okay, let's zoom zoom in here. And we'll be about ready to get started. <clears throat> Hello, camera. Focus. Why, why are you not focusing for me? There we go. That's better. <clears throat> Music gal, hello. You are just in time. We are just getting started on the actual manicure. <clears throat> Starting out with clean, dry nails, we're going to begin with the base coat. I'm using Ready for Takeoff, which is a peel-off base, and you can use whichever is your personal favorite. Oh, by the way, you guys, um, when I peeled off the OMG water marble, which definitely, definitely did grow on me. I talked about it last night. Like, I I was very frustrated while I was doing it. Um, and it, it just grew on me as I wore it. I really enjoyed it. But that uh, pinky and the thumb that we initially did, and I hated so bad, and I took off. And then I, uh, I kind of rushed the base coat and the base color application oh my god they peeled so bad you guys they peeled so bad i'll show you after i finish my base coat here lesson <clears throat> lesson being let your freaking base coat dry when it comes to ready for takeoff when it comes to getting a good peel now conversely i mean if you are having trouble with your peelies coming off too fast maybe don't let it dry as much like i'm i'm not gonna test that wait i have another hand to do i, I really want to show you guys i'm so glad i remembered because sometimes like i end stream and i'm like oh my god i completely forgot to talk about such and such um but yeah if you're having trouble with your with your peelies coming off before you really want your peelies to come off maybe applying starting applying your color when it's not quite fully dry is a hack 
I wish I was good enough. I feel like I should be able to, like, do something like this, like, just a base coat while I'm looking at chat. But I'm, I'm not quite... I don't have quite that much uh, manicure muscle memory. All right, I'll show you guys the peelies. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I know there's like uh, challenges to do that. Uh oh, did I lose a couple of you guys? Did you fall off somewhere? No, this is all of them. No, it's not. Yes, it is. How many do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, one fell off somewhere. But look at these peelies, and then look at, like, this one right here. And, shit, where is the other one? The other one that fell off must have been the other... No, it was this one. Because I was so mad, because I loved this one so much. This was the thumb, and this was the pinky. And, I mean, they're... I mean, they came off. The thumb even wasn't that bad, but I was trying really, really hard to be careful with it. But look at how nice these other peelies are in comparison. Look at this one. A couple of them ripped a little bit. Like, sometimes I'll get it where it's like stuck at the free at the free edge and you get like a little rip. But yeah, I found that very interesting. Yeah, that was the uh, that was the OMG water marble, and I was I was talking about how the the pinky and the thumb that I hated, I took off and I did base coat and color, and I was very impatient and I didn't let the base coat fully dry. The ready for takeoff, and the peel sucked, and the peel on all the other nails that were properly dry was great. So yeah, these these moments when we're sitting here patiently waiting for the ready for takeoff to fully dry are in fact worth it. Yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. That's, I was angry in that stream. I was very angry at that manicure. <laughs> it just kept, Oh, it kept pissing me off so bad. This one should be fine. We've already done testing again. So we know that they're cooperating today. Sometimes I feel like that's it. It's like I test on one day <clears throat> Then I go to do the manicure and it's like something is different and things just don't work the way they were working before. Like I've got like a like a hair tie to hold my braids back. Can you even see? I feel like they're so dark against my dark chair. But then like when what just one or two like makes its way over my shoulder, it's so annoying. And ready for takeoff gets kinda not matte exactly it's hard to tell and you can tell like how even your coats are too like can I quite show it on camera I can't like this pinky is half dry and half still partially wet because I must have had a slightly thick coat on one side gotta watch that in fact the pinky that's one of the only ones that's still Okay, no, I'm not going to do that. I don't really think that helps very much. Beanie looks super comfortable, even though he's sleeping with so many nail polishes. All the nail polishes from last afternoons, evenings. What time did I actually stream yesterday? I honestly don't remember. It was, it was not, it was like a weird time. It was not late and it wasn't early either. Like three or four? Oh well. Anyway, um, about five. Okay. Yeah, it was a weird time. I was gonna do it earlier. I was gonna try and do it before Grandma's house, and then Grandma's house got canceled. And then I was like, well, okay, I'll I'll do this. I'll try to have a productive day. 
It was water marble testing. In fact, while we're waiting for this to finish drying, we can look at some of them. Hi, Bean. Sorry. Oh, yeah, this one. Those are from... Well, let's grab these two. What else? Did I drop one? No. So, like the Wednesday stream is when we initially tested these colors. So this is like Wednesdays, and then this is the one we just did today. And then also on Wednesday, we did these, which I, I wasn't very pleased with how that turned out. And these, and these, which turned out to be the actual Wait, no. Yes. When did we test these? We didn't test all these and then do a manicure on Wednesday, did we? Was the testing from earlier than that? Oh my God, you guys, I am losing my mind. I'm literally losing my mind. Anyway, this is, this is what we did on Wednesday. And then last night, last night was actually very productive. We didn't come out with anything firmly, but we played with some veil marbling like I kind of wanted to do like a poppy flower and I don't think any of these reds are quite right for a poppy flower but um like I, I feel like a poppy needs a more tomato red these are all leaning like a little bit pink but I really like some of the veils that we got um and I, I think the idea is solid like in these colors, it reminds me more of like a, a crab apple blossom or something like that, in which case I would not want to do uh, like black accents for the flower sexy parts, the, the, the stamens. Is that, is that the right word? I feel like I asked the same question before. This one? Yeah, you have pink. I saw some other colors, colors when I was looking, but yeah, so... This is like work in progress. Maybe I need a slightly different red or maybe like, I don't know. Cause like, I really like, like I love how defined the veins or the veils or the wrinkles are in this one. You can see these more in person than the webcam is showing. Um, then we also like all the colors you can't quite see behind Beanie or what we were playing with. And they're all Orly's. We were doing these, which these are like two of the same colors and then one different color between them. And I think I, we decided that this one was the really nice one, which was like the deep teal and the dark green and then the lighter teal instead of this one was with the lighter green. Yeah, they, they look kind of cherry blossomish too, Fuzzy Nova. I, I can feel cherry blossom. Cherry blossoms and crab apple blossoms are damn near same thing. To me, I don't know. I've never seen a cherry tree in person, I don't think. I, I don't know if we have. Do cherry trees go in Minnesota? Somebody? I mean, I used to have a crab apple in my yard, so that's what it brings out nostalgia-wise for me. But yeah, some kind of flowery veil like that with a little bit of, you know, stem and stem and stamen or other word that I don't know that it's called <laughs> accent. Um, then we did these very like oceany looking cool. I like those. And then we did these, which like these, I really liked in the bottle together and they marble. Okay. But I just didn't like how the marble turned out. And then I really should probably put these in the other order. And then we did these, which was looking cool, except for like the one purple turned out so light but then when like I tried with some some of the purples as the base color, like I didn't really like how any of that turned out. So then we tried another one, you know, just with it transparent. And then I tried removing it and just using the other two purples. And I, I really like how this turned out. Like we've got like two different designs here. So we've got like, you know, hold on here, like that design. And we've got like, that design well we've also got like you know this design i don't know that's that's a direction that we're gonna pursue more not today 
today we're gonna be super bright. Um, fuck. You're right, Doc. I don't know where it is. Did it? Like, it's not in easy evidence, just like on the floor next to my desk. No, Dr. Cartron is right. We did, we did some browns. Um, sorry. They didn't work out very well. Beanie might be laying on it. No, we did dip one. It sucked, but I think we did dip one. Hey, KJD. Yeah, the polish was an asshole. It was really nice browns. The browns are, the browns are right here. It was with these. Because this was going to be the, the latte. Like, it's coffee brown. It just... That was a failed water marble. That's, I mean, I could see how if you have that experience when you water marble, you're like, man, this water marbling shit is some BS. Um, what, what am I doing? I don't need that. Yeah, we gotta do base color. But you just gotta keep going and keep practicing and keep, keep trying stuff. Mm. Yeah, well, it was, but it was, I don't know. Son, this could be the brown. I I wish now, like I really now that Doc like pointed it out, I really want to know what happened to that test strip. <gasps> oh, there it is! Oh, there it is, you guys. The darkest brown was so uncooperative that the only one we ended up dipping was the medium and light brown. The dark brown spread on its own, but it was. It was unable to stand up against either of the light colors. I would, I did like eight drops of the dark brown and then like one drop of the lightest color would just be like, Pff! and like you didn't have any dark brown left anymore. Like this isn't bad. And this actually turned out with the, the medium brown as the base turned out a lot darker than I thought. Actually, this, this is not a fail, this dip. It just like, I really wanted to use this brown. Glad we found that. It was it would slid down and was like behind my laptop. Yeah, well it would it would spread on its own. It would be really interesting to find a color that worked with it. And it actually stayed wet longer than either of the, of the lighter colors. It just it was very rude. It was very rude. Yeah, I mean, like, and, and and it, like, it almost makes me want to be a scientist. Because <laughs> it's like, you know, to formulate a, a line of polish that's, like, all of the same density so that they all spread nicely together and create perfect rings. Anything reminiscent of food? Yeah, I know. Like we were talking about for my Fruit by the Finger series, like, I need to get back to that. What was it? One of these we said looked like it was it was the veil marbles. We were saying that we could do the veil marbles that this one looked like a grapefruit and that we could do it in citrus colors and do a fruit by the blah, 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 fruit by the finger series installment. <clears throat> yeah, the darkest brown won't sp basically spread at all after the lightest colors are in there. I suppose it could maybe go in the center. But then, like, that defeats the whole looking like coffee part. But the, the medium one is darker than I, you know, and I, I'm trying to picture that collection. If it has another dark brown or if that dark brown is actually a dark red. I'm sorry, is this in your way? You, you don't approve of that being there? Sorry. Is that better, Mr. Bean? <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 excuse me. T burp. My mother would be appalled. My grandpa would be thrilled. <laughs> mm, mm. Yeah. 
baristas must have latte art on their nails at all times. <laughs> I mean, I haven't even had anything carbonated today. <clears throat> the colors that I'll be using in today's marble are from Colors by LaRoe. The bright green is bananas and Krispy Kremes are better than HBO. The turquoise, which I'll also be using as my base color, is Young Turks. And the navy is Baby It's Cold Outside. After I've got my base color applied, I'll be protecting around my nails using liquid latex as well as tape. Yeah, sorry, sorry to anybody that was offended by my bodily function. I don't know. I suppose I could be like ladylike about it. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, no, maybe I couldn't on second thought. Not like seriously. It's just too absurd to me. I mean, like, burps aren't even that nasty compared to other, you know, bodily functions or things that are considered gross. Like, yeah, picking your nose is gross because, like, hi, there's boogers in there. You, you can't just be, like, you know, picking your nose in public and then, like, looking for a place to wipe the boogers. Obviously, that's gross. But a burp is just a sound. It It doesn't... There's a... Can you guys see it? doesn't leave any boogers behind it doesn't leave any scent behind like a fart it's just a burp why are burps supposedly offensive i don't get it free the burps just like the fucks you'll be much happier not worrying about that kind of dumb shit in my opinion i mean like I said, if you're offended, my apologies, I guess. I mean, I'm not sorry. I'm sorry you're so easily offended. By a burp. That's what happens when you're doing it live. Only reason there was any kind of delay <laughs> was I will try to not include that type of stuff in my YouTube videos. <laughs> but you guys get it live. You get all the unfiltered me. <laughs> wait a minute is there hmm. <laughs> Marmoot no Colette <laughs> oh <laughs> in a very high pitched and accidentally dainty way butt pit butched too many butts butt bots yeah, I like the latex uh, tape combo. It really, it I feel like it makes things easier. Thank you, Doubtful. Yeah, the reason these all actually came together, and you guys are quite far away. I should zoom you guys in. Um, when I was doing my haul, all these were put aside as colors that like I wanted to wear as a manicure. Like, man, I need to have this on my nails. All, all that apparently silver shimmer, also, by the way, you guys, is rainbow. Strong, strong hollow. Can I capture any of it with the ring light? It's not cooperating. You can see the shimmer, though. Just, just, just picture rainbows all up in there. <clears throat> Some burp smell. Well, I, I suppose this is true, Amethyst. Hmm. <laughs> You can't control how you sneeze. <laughs> like, oh my God, people like my sneeze. <laughs> like, no, I'm sorry. Now I hate you. <laughs> hmm. No, one thing I do really high pitched and God, like completely knock on wood. Don't let me jinx myself. Hiccups. Like my hiccups are like, super high pitched and weird and awkward and like people look at me and if I can get them to go away 
they come back like an hour later like throughout the day i'll just spend the whole day like getting rid of hiccups and then having them come back it's so frustrating i've been lucky enough not to have hiccups on stream yet maybe i have deeper breathing habits when i'm on stream and it prevents the hiccups from creeping up on me because I think hiccups are kind of like yawns and that there may be a sign that you're not properly oxygenated. Maybe. <laughs> Dr. Crotra. <laughs> hmm. All right. And well, this is, well, we'll let this dry just a little bit. We don't want any accidents. Yeah, I, I, I kind of know what you mean. There, there's a little bit of the rainbow, like 10 times that y'all. Can we get a little bit more? Does the, how's the green do on camera? There. It's still like half as strong as it is, but you see that, that, that's the hollow. The navy is not hollow, but the navy has, um, there. See, see all that going on in there? That, that green flash and those blue, those little blue flakies, that's what you see floating in the water when it's, when it's spreading out the little dark chunks. It's those little, uh, flakier pieces. <clears throat> who is groggy i'm assuming like from the from the name it makes me think of a sound like like that i don't know why and i'm thinking that hiccups like that would feel extremely awkward Yeah, it could be applied to so many things. Mm. As polished boogers, yeah. <laughs> You'll see, it's true. It's like okay, I'm not. I'm not gonna make that comparison. No, I'll say. I'll save you guys from that comparison that I almost just made there. Um, yeah, we're running slightly low on acetone. I mean, I have more. This is just, you know, the handy bottle. Let's do our latex and tape. <clears throat> and I mean, I am definitely doing like two fingers at a time, maybe even three for this manicure. We'll see. All right, get the tape like so. And then we're just going to do See, I see a few goobers in there, you guys, but just a few. Like you see how nice it is still for the most part. Going to just like nicely cover my knuckles and have a good overlap of the tape. Hopefully we can get it to peel off in one piece. Mm. All right. And I'm trying to apply like a slightly thicker coat than I was before because I had a few little small peeling issues this should be good I think hey LJ you are here just in time for the good stuff I can almost always no matter what point somebody comes in at the stream unless it's like at the very very end it's like oh you're just in time you're just in time for the testing. You are just in time for the manicure. You're just in time for the marbling. You're just in time for the top coat. 
And then all of a sudden it's like, oops, sorry, you're too late. The stream's over. <laughs> but I'm so glad so many of you could could make it today. I feel like Saturday is still probably like the time when most people can make it, but I'm trying to just like scatter other times as it makes sense and fits in my schedule. Cause I know like there's never ever going to be one time that like works for everybody. Unfortunately, especially like, Oh my God, you bring time zones into it. Freaking time zones. But I hope that there are some times that work for some people. Some, sometimes sometimes that work sometimes <laughs> yeah so with uh shit i'm gonna have to change my battery it's flashing at me with water marbling like for a uh, for a gradient i'll still just use latex um Okay, this is not going to fit on camera any kind of convenient way. But for marbling, like the problem that I often run into is the fingers sticking together, like when you don't want them to. So having the tape on the sides keeps them from sticking together and having the latex on the top allows my, my knuckles to still bend. So it kind of gives you the best of both worlds for that. Um, for like a gradient, I, I don't usually have as much latex... Um, up on the sides of my fingers as would be for a water marble. So I usually just still do just latex. And we can see here, see how that's starting to get pearly as it dries compared to like these that are still all. Okay, so camera, maybe I better wait for this to fully dry. <clears throat> oh no. And even this, like this is gonna save us a ton like all that's protected, but with water marbling and I mean with sponging too, you're still going to get, you know, down in there where you need to clean up. I am not one of those people that can like latex inside the cuticle and have it turn out nicely. Yeah. And I mean, gosh, this brush is starting to look kind of poorly, isn't it? It's like not as much, not coming to as much of a chisel. It's still usable, especially like once you get it wet with a little bit of acetone and you can kind of make it pointy again like that. That's better. Um, but yeah, that's like a huge part of my arsenal. Any kind of nail art, any kind of plain manicure. Yeah, it depends. Um, the, the bronze gradient that we did the other day, that had kind of pain in the butt cleanup because even though I knew it would make things harder, I chose to put the dark color at the cuticle. And dark colors are almost always more of a pain to clean up. A lot of times by the time I get to clean up, I'm just, I'm starting to get more impatient in general. And this is taking a little bit longer to dry because I put it on so thick, but see how, see that pearliness coming out? It's so purty. This one's still fully wet. These ones are mostly dry. Mm. You are, you're amazing at doing your nails too, son. I mean, that's a part of it. That's a part of all of it. No, it's pro. you know what you should do, LJ? Well, I hope I'm right. Time yourself and see, because some things just feel like they take a long ass time. It really, it's like, oh, that didn't actually take so long. Clean up, unless you're like in the mood for clean up or if clean up is one of your favorite things, the thing that I find about cleanup is that it's kind of boring. It's like, I want to be done with this already. Can we do top coat now? But like, you gotta just suck it up and and uh, and do it. Why am I? I should really have one of those things, those uh, office plastic mats, because I've got an office chair rolling on carpet. It's not the greatest. Yeah. No, you really don't want that. Like, and no, I don't want to do that actually too. <laughs> that too, musical. Like when I, the few times that I do other people's nails, 
it's very weird to me. And especially like if I do anything at all, like with, um, like pushing back cuticles or anything like that, I'm like, are you okay? Is this, are you, does this hurt? Are you fine? Like feeling what you're doing is a big part of it. We're almost dry here. Pearly and shiny. I don't know how many other colors come in the pearl finish. I, I mean, also, like, if you were using this as body paint, you could see this is not fully opaque. They do have a base, a base paint, I think. You would need that with this. <clears throat> also, like, the way that, like, manicurists do it, where, like, they sit across from you and, like, you know, stick their hands out. Like, I, I don't, like, a hand coming at me like this, like... I, I wouldn't know what to do with it. Like my hand is like this, not like, like this. So like if I do my mom's nails, I have her sit right next to me and then I like get her arm and I put her hand basically like right where my hand would be if it was attached, you know, to my body. I mean, if you're into that Dr. Crotron, <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna order some pearl latex body paint with your uh, Gunpla Mr. Metal teal jelly chrome do we get gunpla scream tomorrow doc gunpla stream stream <clears throat> yeah exactly son yeah i like to clean up and then top coat and then clean up a little bit more we're just about ready to marble here got a couple little bits that are like look like they're partly under the tape that look like they haven't dry. <laughs> Yo, yeah, that's actually kind of true. <laughs> Depends on the weather. Oh, I suppose the humidity can make a big difference when you're doing the uh the airbrushing and the drying and stuff. Is it for the drying or is it more like how how you want the parts to be when you're airbrushing? Or is it more for the airbrush? Yeah. Oh, streaks. Um. Okay. Was it really? I could believe that. I've seen some badass car paint jobs. Like, hey, can I take a picture of your car? I want to try and do that on my nails. <laughs> All right, let's clear off the surface here real quick. With a drop, and we'll just spread it all out like that. Oops, you guys are going to have to go zoomy zoom out again. And we'll probably be about here. I think I'll need to adjust you guys again once I get the camera actually adjusted. <laughs> yeah. So like, I mean, usually is that box anywhere handy? Like when I think unicorn, I mean, there, there's a bunch of different unicorn fill in the bodily fluid nicknames for nail art stuff like when i really hear unicorn pee i usually think of that clarence 230 but there sometimes that pigment can be found in other polishes i think like the the pigment in uh, ilnp's the magician is very similar or the same as uh, what's in clarence 230 <clears throat> see clarence 34 i'm not i'm not familiar with that one or maybe you're thinking of the same one as me and maybe one or both of us is wrong on the number i don't know Re reasons why i hate numbers is names because <laughs> they're so amazed during the process <laughs> Yeah, Spectre Flare. I think that got, like, discontinued. I have seen it sold some places still. <clears throat> okay. We're going to... Actually, let's... Let's move these in this order.
we're gonna get you guys pointed accurately there sorry you're at a little bit of an angle <clears throat> Yeah, it's probably not technically, like, tested for human use, but <laughs> that sounds bad. But, oh well. Mmm, <laughs> Caritha running for the ice cream. All right, bring us back some. Can't have any unless there's enough to share with the class. God, I pity you if you ever actually had a teacher that sounded like that. I don't know who that was an impression of. <laughs> oh, God damn it! I didn't fucking change the battery okay um hold on you guys I should have done this before I did I don't know I, pr I probably should have done this before I covered my hands with tape and latex the unfortunate part is I have to take off this part in order to access the battery place. Does anybody have the Jeopardy clip handy or should I sing to you all again? <laughs> Alright. Thankfully I have another battery because both of my cameras take the same battery. Although I swear I feel like one of them, and I should probably mark the one that I think is the quote unquote good one, performs better. Um, like when I'm taking pictures with flash, one of the batteries seems to take a while to like get enough juice to the flash and one is almost instant. Or I'm not sure if maybe that's just like when the battery is getting low and maybe they both have that problem. I should investigate a little bit more. <laughs> Scented oil bundles. All right, let's see if we can get this back on here. Sorry for the shaking. Okay. We's rest to go. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, the pigment is rare, and I mean Clarence two thirty itself is like rare at this point. Cause I mean, when is it? When was that originally released? I have no clue. Back in the dark ages of nail polish. All right, <clears throat> you guys ready? I'm ready. As usual for a water marble, we're working in a five ounce paper cup filled with room temperature filtered water. Just keep on spreading nice like that. That's really uneven. It's okay though. Oh, you know what? Hmm, I didn't decide which way to draw these. Um, I should have done that before I made a bullseye. Um, this might be wasted. I'm waiting too long. It's getting too dry. I've waited too long. It's dry. Fuck. Okay, sorry. That was my fault. That was not the polish's fault. I can clean off the rest of the surface, though. I, uh, the test that we were doing earlier, I did, I forgot to, like, decide, actually, which I wanted to use for the manicure. 
Like, the main thing that I'm noticing when I'm looking at the two of them... Um... Can you guys see these? I'm letting the rest of that dry so I can just pull it out. The... Oops. This one... It's slightly more curvy and this one is slightly more straight. This is the one where I went all in one direction and then all the other direction. This is the one I went back and forth. And I would pref I think I would prefer them a little bit more straight. Of course, you know, I'm looking at this again. I'm I'm changing my mind again mid mid manicure. It's okay though. This will be fine. This was this was a happy accident. I'm glad that didn't work out. Because I was thinking about this wrong. So we are going to go back to the other order which spreads slightly better. But we're going to do the one way and then the other way way yeah okay <clears throat> mom can you help me All right, take three, one for the battery, one for the bullseye. <clears throat> As usual, for a water marble, I'm working in a five ounce paper cup filled with room temperature filtered water. Keep going. There are those chunks I was talking about, by the way, you guys. Anybody that thought I was exaggerating. Mm. There we go. <clears throat> Well, now that I've got my bullseye built, I'm going to go ahead and draw down to the bottom, then up to the top, and then I'm going to start doing petals on this side. Once I'm done, I'm going to go back and draw in between each of those petals going in the opposite direction. nice and straight <clears throat> yeah for this design there's plenty of room to dip two fingers so I'm gonna go ahead and get them lined up see if I can get a good angle here it's a little bit hard to show on camera sometimes but basically line them up at whatever angle you want to the design and then go ahead and dip in then you want to go ahead and clean off the surface of the water so that that doesn't stick on top of your design and once the surface is clear we're going to go ahead and pull slowly out and there's the water marble. Next is removing the protection. Let's go ahead and grab an edge of that tape and peel it off along with the liquid latex. And then I'm gonna go ahead, water marble all my nails, and then move on to the closer cleanup.
the ring finger's a little bit crooked, but I can live with it. Like the pinky seems straight on, and this is why I considered using latex for all my fingers, because if they'd been <clears throat> if they'd been stuck to each other, then that would force them to stay at the same angle when dipping. And sometimes, even when you think you're holding them right next to each other, like you're not, and then it ends up a little bit crooked have to really watch that on this next dip. This is spreading really well though. This is spreading even better than the first cup. I feel like I don't even need to really run around the outside at all. Of course. God, did I just jinx myself? Come on here. also go this way which I am just because I feel like it's a little bit imbalanced and we can do like this I'm trying to keep these similar width to the first cup I don't like this one I don't like how unevenly it spread you guys we might do the thumb in here we can get enough of a good spot for the thumb. Yeah, we'll do... And then we'll hope we'll get a good, a better cup for the other one. And I didn't like that just because... Like, if I hadn't been recording, I'd have been able to point it out for you guys a little bit better. Like, when I when I pulled it to the sides, one of the sides broke and got really wide instead of staying skinny. See that bubble? Bye, bubble. Um, and that kind of screwed up the whole balance of color. But... We got a good spot. We got the thumb dipped. We just gotta be careful on this one. <clears throat> All right. Green. Turquoise. Navy. I love how this is turning out, by the way, you guys. Small small complaints and small miss dips aside. Um, I really like how this is how this is going. Okay. Cross our fingers here that this X right there you see it's split a little bit but not a much it's even throughout that felt like a beanie here that first one did you see it you see how crooked it went and weird really crooked Arrgh! okay it's fine it's fine no nail rage we got this I hope. I hope I shouldn't have redone that. 
yesterday, no, Wednesday, my biggest problem, one of my biggest problems was the dip. Can I see those big old bubbles? Slowly give it a chance for the bubbles to break. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Um, I had like multiple dips where I felt like I was just about a half an inch off on my placement. And instead of getting like the cool part of the design that I was aiming for, I got like part of the cool design and then part of like, stop, 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 fuck, fuck, stop. Okay, it's fine. That's a thing that can happen. That could have been much worse. The latex can like get stuck. Um, the latex can get stuck on your design and, and screw you over really bad. It's okay though. That was a near disaster. Whew. Okay. See what's been going on in chat while I've been stressing myself out here. He heard that and repeated it. <laughs> oh, that's great. Mm. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. If you have like a thermometer, like an indoor thermometer, above 70, you should be okay. Like right now, and actually this is, maybe that's why it's spreading a little better than when we started out. My thermometer says we are 74.4 instead of 73 in here now. Um, as it was when we started. Um, and that one time, I think it was the red swirls, you guys. I thought it was too cold in my room to marble because it was only like 70 or 71. And it worked. The polishes matter. Er everything matters. Humidity matters. Under 70 is risky. Mid, mid 70s, I would say, is usually ideal. And of course, this is Fahrenheit. I apologize if you are in not America and don't know what the fuck Fahrenheit is. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, well, your pinky finger and your ring finger, like, they're, they're the, I almost spilled the water. They're the same when you go like this, but when you extend like this, you got that much difference. So when you're dipping, like, it's hard to give you guys a good angle. Like, okay, picture, picture the cup surfaces here. Like, when you're dipping in, you got to be careful not to, like, extend them too much, and then they're staggered again. Like, you kind of got to dip them in a bent form, whereas, like, uh, index finger and middle finger they're pretty close when extended for most people and actually okay look at this it's, it's easier to see on the underside can you see the difference my left hand they're almost the same my right hand my middle finger is considerably longer i think that's partly why i have problems posing my right hand too and uh, that may be the case for many people like your hands aren't the same size you guys Go go start looking at yourself and find all your imperfections. No. Um but yeah, so like when you're you you can when you're dipping, you can do that kind of extension into the cup whereas with the uh ring finger and pinky you can't. Dipping all three of these together, they're pretty close to the same length. That's a good dip. But then you're stuck trying to do the pinky thumb dip which, okay, now you're not even flexing in the same direction. You know what I'm saying? And is what got me into trouble with the OMG marble. You'll never stop being blown away by this. Me either, honestly. Hey, Ash. <clears throat> yeah, I love how these are turning out so far, you guys. Freaking phenomenal. Can you see? How the ring finger is a little bit crooked or is it not even actually as noticeable as I think because it's a chevron design I mean to me it's obvious that it's a little bit instead of nobody else nobody will notice <clears throat> watching water marbling is like watching Olympic high dive <clears throat> yeah that's that's what the heat is kept here I got the space heater right behind me 
for my room because actually well i've talked about this before our house is really old we don't have like heat vents in every single room there's like an upstairs vent and a downstairs vent and even though the upstairs vent is right outside my door the heat doesn't like circulate like it would in a modern house with like blowers and stuff so especially if it's windy or if it's super cold outside if i don't have my space heater on like a lot of times i turn it off overnight because i don't need to be as warm when i'm under all my covers and shit but i'll wake up it'll be like 63 degrees in here which is like too freaking cold for me <clears throat> nothing else in the water no it's uh it's filtered water some places you may be actually i should protect my fingers first some places you may be able to get away with tap water some places the tap water is going to be too hard so i use uh filtered through a Brita pitcher and room temperature and really i think same temperature as the polish helps so like even if your room temperature is maybe not the ideal temperature if your polish and the water are the same temperature i think that helps like if your water is a little bit too cold but your polish is also a little bit too cold because it's been sitting in your in your cold room or your cold house warmer i get questions like why i don't use warm water like how long have we been going an hour and 26 minutes like it's not gonna stay warm if you decide you want to start messing around with warm water that means you want to start messing around with changing your water multiple times during testing and manicure um or dealing with the effects as it cools off as you go um so that's why that's not a thing in my opinion <clears throat> or in my my kingdom at least <clears throat> Um, one one thing is like there are things you can add to water to make paint float more um like we were talking about doubtful maybe it was shit okay that's fine though that was almost bad maybe i should just set this here instead of trying to reach over there i got like a little tiny i caught the nail on the edge of the tape see that ding in that lowest dark dark stripe by my cuticle we'll fix it can't fix it right now um i watched a thing on like the the book the book uh cover water marbling people there's a word for it um and they use it's some kind of seaweed stuff or is that the ebrew painters maybe they're they both use the same thing because ebrew if you ever like want some want to see some really cool things or get some water marbling ideas youtube ebrew e-b-r-u and it's like i think ebrew uses ink i'm trying to think if the page ones use ink or if they use paint both of those i have seen some techniques that i would love to try and translate into water marbling but they use uh some kind of seaweed based thing in the water to help stuff float that is kind of weird heating mug or right yeah just get a little tiny crock pot desk size crock pot for water marbling that I, that does sound like it would be hard yeah Yeah, the end papers. Oh, you've done the paper marbling. And it is the seaweed. Yeah, and I always thought, I was like, I wonder how that would work for water marbling. And then I was like, well, you know, I, I mean, I don't need it. It's an extra expense. I don't think it's so miraculous that it's going to make colors that don't want to work together magically work together. And I kind of never pursued further into it. Oh, you know what? I should, I need to not forget that. That was on my mind for last year. And of course, last year, Water Marble March didn't really happen. Um, I've seen a technique for the book, the end papers. Like they have all these weird tools. And one of their tools was a thing that drew like multiple lines at a time. I was like, well... I can make one of those. All I need to do is tape some orange sticks together. 
but I couldn't decide like, okay, then what, what do I want to do with this, this new tool? But maybe we can do that our next testing stream and play around or one of our next testing streams. I guess next testing stream should really be focused on finalizing some of the ideas that we played with last night um, so that they're usable for our next actual manicure. Mm. Yeah, I don't know how alcohol would react with nail polish. Interesting thought. Ham, sharp cheddar, mayo, stone ground, mustard, sweet relish sandwich wrap. That does sound good. Oh my god, I haven't eaten yet, Musical. Yeah, it's it's a fascinating thing, but I'm like, well, what use do I have for marbled paper? Of course, what use do I have for marbled nails? But marbled nails make me happy. Marbled paper probably would make me happy too, but... <laughs> Like a huge, huge stack of marbled paper. What's this for? Nothing. <laughs> mm, Caritha got her food too. I think, you know, yesterday I had my nachos a day early. I think today I might have pierogies. Because I was talking about pierogies during yesterday's stream and then I didn't make them. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's interesting because nail polish isn't actually less dense than water all the time. That's why sometimes you get the little cannonballs that fall to the bottom of the cup. Let's see if we can let's see if we can do one. For science. Ooh, that one was a good one. Did you see how it went down and then floated back up? These ones are really good. This is actually quite interesting. What do I have here? Here's China glaze. I bet this one will work. Yeah, the giant comb things. I don't know. Not like, oh, you mean alcohol in the water? Well, I don't know if it was like a solid thing instead of like a spray. Because, yeah, well, Dr. Crotron doesn't know anything about water spotting because we haven't done any of that on stream yet. I actually don't think I've done any water spotting in several years. I wonder what I did with my uh, my small spray bottles and my hand sanitizer and shit. I kind of don't remember coming across that while I, oh, you know what? I bet it's in there. I bet it's in that miscellaneous box. Never mind. Should I include some of that in Water Marble March? Would you guys like me to do some more of that? You didn't do anything with it. Or were they like, what kind of books were there? Were they like notebooks? That would be kind of cool to have like your own custom bound notebooks. <laughs> All right, Momo. I'm glad you could hang out. Have a great rest of your day. Well, what we do, Doc, is like, like how it spreads on the water. And then while it's still wet, you spritz it with alcohol. And it goes in there and it kind of some shit like that all right i really want to sink a sink a ball for you guys so let's see if china glaze liquid leather will cooperate and i'm intentionally dip dripping from super high um the first thing i suggest to people if they say their polish is sinking is that you're dripping from too high nope nothing wants to sink today i guess it just depends on the polish i bet that chocolate would sink Yes. Amethyst. Nail polish dissolves styrofoam. Which is kind of like weird. I don't know. I guess I suppose it's just like a reaction. Okay. Are we... Yeah, you guys can see pretty good. Since I'm not uh, tutorialing recording this section. Q. 
Yeah. That sounds really cool. For sure. <clears throat> that was actually another little small burp, but it wasn't very impressive, so I didn't share it with you guys. Like, some burps feel like it would be forcing it to make them be loud. Like, some burps just naturally are very quiet. Aw, Bean, you're adorable. Everybody, please take a moment to look at Bre look at Beanie's complete uh, blissful sprawl. He's such a cute boy. Not a care in the world. All right. Let's finish this right hand. Yeah, I feel like the first rings are spreading quite a bit more than they were the first, like one that I did. It's okay. It's just sometimes, like right here, like since I don't have to pull around the outside, although I could, I mean, I could try pulling a little bit here. Like when, you, when you're forced, quote unquote, to pull around the outside, it will also pull the existing rings and help them expand a little bit more which helps with this tight middle that seems to be a, a slight problem with this. Now this one is also a little bit lopsided like this way. So that's the way that I'm gonna pull. Like you don't always have to pull up and down or even straight side to side. You can pull whatever way feels like it would help things even out the most. And then just pick a side. Like I'll probably start on this side and start drawing through. And again, like remember Remember how thick you went in the last one? See, these are going a little bit wonky too. It's just a little bit dry at the edge. Remember how thick your sections were before? Try to maintain similar thickness. And then back in between. You know, I feel like this is not a great one, but we can do the thumb, I hope. Yeah, we can do the thumb. Get that just a little bit straighter. I'm gonna go for this, you know. Oops, dropped an orange stick. I feel like this glitter has made a bubble. I'm gonna get rid of it. There we go. You know, that would be, can you guys see how this like joined that little section together right now? That would actually be a cool idea for a water marble. Like, do a design and then do, like, some dips that pull the design together a little bit. I should make a note about that. What was the other thing I just said I should make a note about? Uh-oh. Oh, veil marbling. Or not veil marbling. Uh, water spotting. There we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a note about both of those things. Hmm. There we go. Okay, where's the polished sketchbook? Right there. Shit. This stuck on my thumbnail. I'm not going to mess with it. Even though part of me really wants to. I can't tell if it left stuff on top or if it dented what was there. Um, okay, where's my notes page? Yeah. He, I, I love it when he just faces the camera instead of doing all that cute stuff but faced away from the camera. Okay. Um, water spotting. And we'll call it a dip design. And I'll draw myself a little weird... A little weird reminder...
And hopefully I'll know what this means when I go back and look at it. Hopefully. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, sometimes like when Bean is in my lap, what he really loves is he likes to like kind of get tubular and then stick his head right in the crook of my elbow. Like get in there with his little nose. All right, hopefully we can get a good one here. A, a one that's worthy of two fingers. Wait a minute, what first nail polish thing, Doc? Are you, are you going to, I, I know he said he wanted to gradient things, but I can't imagine he would do that not on stream and then come taunt me about it. So he must be talking about something else. Yes, that is who did Mufasa sunburned. May or may not have just stolen your wife's polish. Are we going to get a Dr. Crow pedicure? Are you going to paint your nails gold so that our team wins this evening? Of course, I don't know if we'll be on the same team. I'm guessing we probably will be because I'm guessing that I will fail the Pantheons and I'm guessing that you will beat P5. <laughs> so. Okay, now this one we didn't get a very good spread again, but guess what? It's okay because it's actually going to help us out when we go over here. Watch that middle one when I pull the sides. See how it stretches? And then we'll do three more drops. I'm going to try really hard. It would be really awesome if I could do some, some Pantheons for the first time in the race. And I need to get the pre-made file set up too. I wonder, are we supposed to like give ourselves money too? Okay, carefully. That edge is dry. Mind your edges. And like, if you don't go all the way to the edge of the cup, mind that goober when you're dipping your nails. Cause that's, that's a thing too. Like getting the goober on your nail, like that's not a look you want. Okay. I feel like that looks pretty good. Let's, uh, let's, let's go on right about here. See, I can, can you see how they're like together at the nail, but there's like a gap right here. That's why one of them is going crooked. It's very hard to keep them just... I feel like I want to like grab them with my other hand. Can I even do that? Like this? Okay. I don't know if that just worked or not. It felt super awkward. It probably looked super awkward. Whether it was actually awkward or not will be determined by how the marble looks. Ooh. Looks straight to me equals not awkward or equals worth it awkwardness, at least. Hmm? It's pretty good. All right. Wait, no. What are you doing with gel polish? Is it actually a gel or is it like Sally Hansen Miracle Gel? Sally Hansen Miracle Gel is a goddamn lie. It's not gel. I, I, I don't approve of them calling that because it confuses people. It's not gel and it's not a miracle. It's actually like my least favorite Sally Hansen line. I almost just peeled off this finger I haven't done yet. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's that's true i didn't understand for a long time why gels were in opaque bottles until i realized well duh you don't want to accidentally cure it while it's in the bottle 
<clears throat> okay we just need one more good cup y'all and we can do these last two fingers and then we can get to the cleanup and after the cleanup oh after the cleanup y'all it's gonna be the top coat the top coat's always the best part oh we got a little boy washing himself Ooh, we got a very lopsided bullseye and uh, we'll see if we can save it pull a little bit in this direction and over here or maybe dr kurtron is going to fancify his keyboard keys so that the keys that he uses for hollow knight are all purdy let's see if this uh, pulls properly or if we get a break like that's what i want a side to look like when i pull it to the top that's pretty good too that one that really just broke and like completely like like if this went much wider i would be very irritated and there's another beanie here see it careful on that sticky bit like you want to go as far to the side as you can if you're planning on dipping two nails but you gotta be you don't want to wreck the design trying to go through stuff that's dry and doesn't really want you going through it and that can be affected by the initial spread like you can see this this side i'm going towards right now is not as dry as the other side i'm able to pull all the way to the side of the cup without hitting that very sticky dry spot can we just pull this like a little bit more there i should not mess with it too much all right we're gonna gonna go over here like this well actually let's go this way like how you dip your nails it, it's not always the same angle that's the most comfortable even through the bottle i wonder like the heat maybe okay and these are much easier to line up straight you see they're together at the finger and up at the knuckle compared to uh, ring finger and pinky together we'll go in right here I feel like that was a good dip. I hope I was right. Whoa. Did you see this little piece fall off that bubble? There's another one too. The bubble just went on its own and then there's more polish to clean up. In this type of a, of a design and these colors, like if you did get a little bit of that stuck on top of your nail, it's not going to be the end of the world compared to, let's say you were marbling just about any color in a white is going to be very obvious if you get something stuck on there that's not intended to be on there let's get these off of here yeah that slightly thicker coat of latex too i think you guys are probably noticing almost all are peeling off right with the tape so that was a pretty easy fix all right let's get in a little bit closer here again <clears throat> zoom 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 okay post in discord a riot yeah agree let's get a little bit more of this off gosh i'm a little bit messy it's only nail polish though still all that as much as i applied to my knuckles that still wasn't enough i still managed to over dip my fingers ah yeah are you see okay so with water spotting the alcohol goes in second with what i'm assuming doc did the alcohol went in first and what were your scientific results dr crotron
Ooh. That was clumsy. Everything's okay, but only by pure luck. What time is it here? A little bit after four. I think we're making pretty good time, you guys. We did a little bit of testing. We had a couple small issues. Um, but I, I mean, unless something goes horribly, horribly wrong in the cleanup, I should have plenty of time to eat before this evening's race. And if you have somehow not heard me talk about the race yet, uh, this evening at eight o'clock central ish, I will be racing with Dr. Crotron and Ashton Smurf and chocolate chip pancakes. I know top hat Luke said he may or may not make it home in time to join us this week. Um, and we have a, uh, a cavalcade of Hollow Knight race objectives that we'll be completing. So all my nail people who are also Hollow Knight people can come join us this evening if you like. Um, it, it usually ends up to be super fun. It's been a while since I participated, but I'm really, really looking forward to it. In fact, I don't think I've ever raced with Ash. Have I ever raced? Is Ash still here? I think Choco, 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 Choco Chip Pancakes was in the first race that I did, maybe? I don't know, you guys. It's been such a long time. I forget. I'm forgetful. But anyway, it's, it's going to be really fun. We're going to be starting out with some Pantheon races to determine teams. There's a Nightmare King Grim content race, which that should be... I should either go make that or go clarify before we get started. If we get any money or if we just get items and skills. And then get that file prepared with the debug mod. <clears throat> I know music out. And also, by the way, I'm sorry I missed your last stream. I saw it like after the fact. I went to bed so early that day, but they turned out really cute. Tightened it up and made the edges cleaner. So no, no significant difference between how big of a cup are you using? Which edges? Or do you mean the edges of the design? Because that could, I mean, that actually could be very useful if you mean the design. Because sometimes when you draw through, like some polishes do not want to give you a clean, a clean stripe. Let me close these before I knock them over. The uh, marble polishes. <laughs> if you put it in a butt. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. Butt spot, please. Ah. Mm. Um, probably, well, wait, Pacific East. I always have to go Eastern Pacific to figure out what time Pacific time is. You're two hours ahead of me. So that'll be like 11 o'clock. Maybe, but I'm guessing probably not. Like in the past, they've usually gone pretty late. You just made the bullseye. Well, come on, Dr. Crotron. If you don't have an orange stick, you can use any sharp tool that you have around the house, like a needle or a push pin. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just amused the hell out of my own damn self. Mm. Toothpick also works. Toothpick also works. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so funny. Ha ha ha. Oh, my camera's laughing at me. Please just stay where you're supposed to stay, camera. And we'll get zoomy zoomed in here a little bit more. All right, on to the cleanup. Who was it that said they hated cleanup so much? We'll see. This, this won't be too bad. Hopefully... Like the navy might be a little bit bad, but I'm hoping the green and the turquoise clean up pretty well. Or pretty easily, I should say. Oh, look at that glitter stuck in my cuticle. 
gonna have to go back for a second pass over some of these like closer up then I can get with the camera angle but there's not a ton of side cleanup I do feel um, that I can get closer to the sides of my nails with tape than I could with uh, latex Come on here, camera. Keep up, please. See, some of them, like this one has more of the dark blue at the cuticle. Like lots of wiping of the brush and not too much acetone on the brush. I think is the secret to that. this yeah I did also figure out you guys when I first was doing these colors and uh, I said they reminded me very powerfully of something and I couldn't remember what I remembered what it was and I'll have to see if I can lay hands on it to uh, take a picture with it and if, if actually the colors are as close as I think because I have had it happen where I'm like oh this is exactly the same colors as such and such and then like actually put them next to each other it's like um no it's not mm -hmm. The water spotting thing is happening as they're drying on top of the alcohol. That's kind of interesting. I bet it's slightly, slightly different. I'm faster than you. It's just practice, LJ. Um, I would say the cleanup brush and sesh feet are the two biggest changes I made to my nail art right after I started blogging. But like that was 10 years ago. So if you have not been doing cleanup for 10 years, then I have much more practice than you. And cleanup is also a good time too. Can you guys see these bubbles here on the thumb? I'm just gonna go and press them flat like this. Just get that air out so that they don't pop when you top coat. There's one right here, too. If they pop, you'll get to see the base color underneath, which is less of a problem, again, with a design like this than with uh, a design that uses, like, a white base. I got my I got my uh, chevrons pretty even, I think. This nail, the chevrons look a little chunky compared to the others. But um, I was just showing you. Cleaned up. Still messy, of course, but I mean, such a, such a difference. I see some more bubbles here. Let me just do this too while I'm thinking of it. See right there? Yeah. Just gentle. Like you, it's, you, you want, it's another one of those things where it's like, you don't want the polish to be too wet or too dry. If it's too wet, you're going to smudge the design. And if it's too dry, like it's not actually going to want to press flat. It's going to give you like attitude. So usually like either after I'm done cleanup or maybe before, depending on what else I'm doing. Like if I'm talking, chatting with you guys or whatever, just got to kind of make a judgment call of when is the best time to press them flat. And in some cases you can still see them. Like you can still see them on this nail, but like if I give you a profile, you can see they don't stick up anymore. Like there, see, see how you can actually see that one dimpling up on this one. Now you come through here, you press it flat, get them all nice and as smooth as possible. And then even if you can still like see where they were, you don't have that little bit sticking up still 
it is a very it is an important step some and some polishes just are worse about it than others i honestly there are ways to reduce bubbles i don't know how to eliminate them altogether i don't i don't know if anybody does yeah one more here on the thumb smoosh you flat did the paper thing so the bubbles are turning into water spotty things as they dry oh i see what you mean accent nails <laughs> yeah this one's wide and this one's kind of wide and it's a little bit crooked they're great though this one you can kind of or no this one looking in the camera looking at my hands you can kind of see it was getting toward an area that was not an ideal area that was that cup that i was really very unhappy with because of the way that things spread out and i think you can you can tell that but i mean it's it's minor so it looks familiar to you too that's interesting because i figured out why it looks familiar to me it's because my I, I I there's an outfit like this that my dad has that's these same colors. I may have done nail art in these colors before. It's completely possible because I really like them together. Excuse me, but the one that I actually initially thought of with this <laughs> um when I thought about it, I realized it was not the same colors as this. It was bright and it had bright green, but it also had like a, a neon purple in it. It's also kind of very similar to a reciprocal gradient that I did a couple months ago, color wise, but they're different colors, but similar colors. Um, as far as like dark blue into bright green. yeah that's true i mean they could be you know mistakes they could be happy accidents let's try to look at them as happy accidents i do feel like i have a lot of ghosty blue and green acetone on my hands though from my messy dipping like this knuckle here gotta really be careful there's a fine line between okay there's residue and hey there's still polish on your skin got to make sure they're fully cleaned up before I do my my intro and outro recording all righty here yeah I'm glad that the flakies and the dark blue didn't give me more trouble I mean they gave me slight trouble but nothing too bad The, the bronze gradient was definitely worse cleanup because the uh, the flakies were more stubborn and that dark bronze was more stubborn. Okay. And then... I'm trying to think of what else I got to do. I should, I should not be thinking about this while I'm still streaming. I should wait until I'm off stream. Like, I need to eat something. I need to get my, my file ready. Jerry might be streaming this afternoon. I think he's planning on it. Might already be going. Um, and I think there's a tournament match this afternoon, too, actually. Might have to check what time that is. To keep me entertained before I entertain people. So I usually will go back at least like one more time and just try and do an extra, extra good, super close up cleanup, especially and get down in the cuticle area. Am I still? I'm not. Sorry. See another bubble or two here too.
Why won't you go flat? Please go flat. There. Sometimes it's better to look at them on, like, at a profile instead of just trying to pick it up within the design. <sighs> Mystery 80s cup design with the teal and purple. I do not... I mean, teal and purple is very 80s, just to start out with. Okay, let's... Computer, why are you making that noise? I spent a couple hours yesterday playing Let's Shuffle Files around on my computer and my external hard drives. Trying to make more room, and I think I've got myself set, but at some point, probably this year, I'm going to have to get another freaking external hard drive. Because I just don't like not having backups of my shit, and I produce, like, so much video, it just takes up a ridiculous amount of space. And, like, I was looking at things that can, like, compress for you, but basically they all agreed on the same thing. Like once you compress something, you never get that original quality back. And it's like, well, I don't, I, I want that original quality. Like that's, that's, I, it's not the point, but it's like, Jerry is streaming right now. Yeah. He said he would start at about two. Let me see this. Is this the cup? Internet, please. Oh, that cup. I still see those cups. Are they 80s? <laughs> Been around since the 80s. <clears throat> underwhelming results on dashboard. Well, since I'm looking around, I got to go look at Doc's underwhelming results also. Yeah, there really is not much, much difference. Huh. Huh. I also, kind of related, but kind of unrelated. I wonder, I wonder what fluid art would do in water. You know what I mean? As far as with the cells and stuff. I mean, it's very similar to water spotting in a way. Jazz. That 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 seems like a perfect name for that design. Mm -hmm. Pizzazz also would work. I do love purple and teal together. Maybe it's because I'm a child of the 80s. I wonder how that would work for a water marble though. Like designs like that, they seem like water marble doable, but then I think about like how water marbling actually works and I'm like, how would I actually do that? Like the thumb that I had in the OMG water marble had these really cool squiggles in it that I wasn't sure how I achieved. And some designs are easier to, oops, replicate than others. Like the Chevron is a pretty basic design but sometimes like you just get something cool that happens like while well, you're just swirling the polish and you're like, well, I don't know if I can intentionally reproduce that. All right. Just cleaning up a little bit more of this polish before we move on to the top coat. Can't wait to see this with top coat, you guys. <gasps> it's gonna be so good. Top coat in. Well, no. It's too it's too early to do a countdown. I need more than three seconds to finish cleaning this. <laughs> mm. Oh, non-water marbled versions of it. That's cool. Yeah, 
that looks much better. Just a little bit of the residue cleanup. <clears throat> I thought he said huzzah! Pizzazz! No, he says huzzah. I don't believe you, Dr. Cartron. Alright. <clears throat> no, I love it. I mean, sometimes it looks like a murder scene. <laughs> Today it's very pretty. In fact, let's we'll adjust it just a little bit. We'll get this really nice. Looks like a watercolor. We'll we'll leave that in frame for the for the top coating. <clears throat> Once you've finished cleanup, can go ahead and finish with a top coat. And as usual, I'm using Sesh Feet. Here it comes, you guys. Top coat. Oh, it's so good. Everything is just like way more glowy and beautiful. Love it. I love you, Sesh Feet. You make me so happy. Mm -mm. and I really I'm not like sometimes when I'm painting my nails I do try to be neat I kind of don't with top coat because I like sealing everything in thanks to peel off base coat like really getting down to the cuticle and around the sides and places where, you know, like wrapping the tips really well, places where the peel off is not like sealing, sealing those edges really well. It's definitely really pretty. All right, how dry are you, top coat? Can I clean up like this a little bit? I can, just a little bit. Then I'll do the rest with a with a brush after I do my other hand. Mm, 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 mm. I mean, pretty, oh. beautiful, oh. <laughs> that's a good sound. I just realized I'm like, that might not be taken as a good sound. It's like a Homer sound, like a oh, donut sound, except not for donuts, for nails. <clears throat> Filled with love for such meat. <laughs> Huzzah is not less good than pizzazz. Your mom likes it. Thank you. Tell her thank you. Well, she assuming she can hear me if she can see me. Thanks, Karitha's mom. I love it. I love it. This will this will absolutely improve my Hollow Knight play this evening. I mean, how could I not play well with such good... Kind of green path colors. Not exactly. But out of all the zones, I'd say like green path or queen's garden colors. I mean, not quite as... Uh, not quite as perfect as when I beat Nightmare King Grim with my Nightmare King Grim nails on. That was perhaps the the pinnacle moment of nail art and video game synchronicity. But pretty good. Did Beanie just leave? I felt like I felt him jump down because he's 
He jumps with such force. But then I'm like, maybe I'm tripping. This thumb is really good. I don't know. It's just got a really nice balance of colors and good size chevrons. Like, that's a big thing, too. Like, even when the when the chevrons are even, sometimes some nails have more of a balance than others. Or even when they're wide, more of a balance than others. Like, if you were to look at the two ring fingers next to each other, like, this one seems a little bit more balanced than this one. Maybe I'm tripping. Some of the bubbles are trying to... Can you see that? Yeah, see that little dimple? I might stick a second coat of top coat on here. <clears throat> Insect carapace gleam adds plus five. Adds butt five. Butt butt. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not, I mean, I, I can nitpick just about any manicure that doesn't mean I don't like it see like even here I'm gonna give it just a minute more but you see where can I get there see all those little dimples I tried but I didn't get those bubbles flat enough so what I'll do is I'll give it just a little bit more time the bubble is like popping and raising through the top coat another layer of top coat will settle it out <clears throat> On the way to Fog Canyon, where where Baby Acid Skip is, just gonna go ahead with the second coat to smooth out these little these little dimples. Once I get to one where you can really see, well, like you can kind of see that one. It's got a little dimple at the tip. I don't know. This this is also falls under minor nitpicky stuff that I do that is not necessarily required. Shit, actually, I mean, maybe even Sesh Vite is OP enough that it would settle out the bubbles if I actually gave it enough time to do so. But I usually just go ahead and add a second coat of top coat. And then after this, we'll be wrapping up and finding a place to send you lovely people. And like I said, if you want to hang out later, I would love to have you. Two streams in one day. Like when I started streaming, that would have sounded so absurd to me. Like, I'm not going to be streaming that much. Maybe I'll stream a little bit, but I'm not going to stream a lot. And now it's like... Heck yeah, I'm down for a race. Yeah, this one's got a big one to settle out there. Actually, that, when I, as I look closer at that, it's like a glom that was in the polish that I probably should have dipped out before dipping my finger. Like some mistakes you can see in the cup and you can correct before. Ooh, that's a chunk of dried polish that you need to get off my nail. Um... Like, you can see the problem and correct it in the cup before you ever dip your nail um, for bubbles and stuff. Not always, but sometimes. So be very, I mean, be very mindful of every everything when water marbling, but in this particular instance, be mindful of bubbles in your cup. And if you see any, you can... You can either dip them out by actually like dipping your orange stick in the design right there or like with an even lighter touch sometimes you can just pop it with your orange stick depends on how big the bubble is see there though now we're all back nice and glossy all those little dimples we had there are gone glossy glossy so good you guys <clears throat> water marbling is the end boss 
Yeah, I don't usually use a needle. I don't, I don't even actually have a needle in here. You could, like my orange stick, see if I can, is very sharp because I file it. When I pull a new orange stick out of the pack, if it has that little, I want to call it like the factory point where it's obviously been like sharpened, but it's like if you sharpen a pencil and then it has like that flat tip, I just take it and I roll it a little bit against my, like against a nail file or something until I get an actual point. All right, Amethyst, we're, we're wrapping up anyway. I'm going to see where I can send you guys. And I uh, guess I hope I will see you later. Um, let's see what is going on here. Thank you guys all so much for hanging out for this water marble. There will be more water marbles all month long. This is Water Marble March. Those of you who are new followers, this is the eighth year. Yeah, fuck. This is the eighth year that the month of March has been all water marbles for me. Kind of the seventh year because last year didn't really happen. Last year only had one design because, uh dude died and I wasn't I, I just wasn't feeling it I didn't do much nail art at all last March but so this year we're we're going all in we're streaming a bunch we're doing a bunch of manicures it's gonna be awesome I feel like we're already off to such a good start and uh yeah I just it's it's a uh, it's gonna be good um, I see the little Hollow Knight plushie. I'm tempted to raid Jerry again because I'm not going to have much chance to raid him again later, but I just raided him yesterday. So I think, although I probably will make my way over to Jerry's in a bit, I think I'm going to raid you guys over to Praise. Looks like she's working on some plushies, which I see include a Hollow Knight plushie. Um, so, yes, um, yeah, get, get your race watching snacks all, all cooked up and, uh, yeah, it is almost five for me. So race will be in about three hours. I may, if I finish eating, start streaming a little bit early to do some warm up, but, uh, we'll see. I'll let you guys know in discord once I'm going. Thank you all so much for hanging out. And if you don't show up later, that's perfectly fine. If you want to see more nail stuff, um, Wednesday for sure, maybe Monday and Tuesday. You know what? Actually, if I do Monday or Tuesday, then Wednesday wouldn't be for sure. I'll keep you guys posted in Discord. Gonna go do your nails. Bye, LJ. Rage swatching snacks. <laughs> oh, no rage swatching. Swatching should be mellow. Oh, thank you, Cal. Everybody have a wonderful afternoon, evening, morning, middle of the night, maybe, wherever you are. And I will see you all next time.